Oh my god, Triff, 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 look over there, look over there. What are we looking at? Yeah. Look over there! Oh wow, it's a it's test tube wave. It is, you see the clear liquid? I do, I do. I reacted bromine with benzene. Bromine with benzene? Ready for my Nobel Prize. How do, I don't think that was possible, and how did you do that? Well, I, I've got it all written down on a chalkboard, but you you can't quite see it. No, it's quite far away. Could you write it up again, but on the board? Oh, yeah. Or can you do it in displayed, so I can... I can, I can. That's all displayed. good people can write in displayed. Yeah, absolutely. Or skeletal, which I think is pretty much the same. So, here you go, it, it, it looks look just like that, a reactive bromine. Oh. oh, that's that's not, that's not, that's not bending. It's, it's a thing, isn't it? I think this is good, but it all really reacts with bromine. It's, pretty, it's probably quite good to explain. Oh, we can teach them. It's more reactive. Oh, I'll do that. So I'll just carry on with the formula. Yeah, and just, and we'll just cut the bit where I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's just silly. Just, okay. Hello, and now we're going to learn. Why phenol reacts with bromine. Oh, right. Yeah, so what, that's that's good. Good. What, what we do, okay, is okay. we react. Three lots of Br2, yeah. so bromine molecules. So like bromine in the thing would be very, very orange slash brown. Yep. And if it reacts, it's going to decolorise, which it, it in fact does if you do this at home. Which I wouldn't. No, you shouldn't have phenol in your house. If you do, share. This is Gil's house. So, what happens is it reacts. Yeah, it, re it maintains its OH and it gets three. They are functional groups. Yeah, so it just looks like a, a really messed up spider. Like this. It does, that you cut half the legs off because then you don't like spiders. I don't know why, they're quite nice, really. I think they're okay. I think they're best when they've got roller skates on. Yeah. That's great, I love Harry Potter. Yeah, so. so it's got that, but you'll notice there's still going to be three BRs in this way. And we also we removed three hydrogens. And if we clap H and BR together, that makes, that makes HBR. It does indeed, so plus three lots of HBR. That's quite handy. Let's just check briefly that this is what we have, looking in the test tube. Oh yeah, look really close. Oh, it looks just like that one. It looks just like that. Actually, there's a few like rings and stuff, we should probably... That, that one, one explains why, why phenol's more reactive. It does, because benzene doesn't do this if you remember. It doesn't. So why does phenol? Well, what's the difference, Wayne? Well, the difference between benzene and phenol is this thing on the top. It now, is. Why, why does that mean that it can decolorise bromine? Well, it's all to do with the oxygen and its lone pairs. Lone pairs are quite negative, and it's yeah. pulled quite close to the centre, not not literally the centre, but it's pulled towards the benzene, and that gives a very high electron density in the in the phenol, more so than in benzene. And that attracts stuff and causes stuff to happen. Yeah, so when the bromine goes towards uh, benzene, you remember it doesn't do the uh, dipole thing. No. Now it's dense enough to do that, that's what the O does with its lone pair. Absolutely. And you can draw this with the... Um, 3D thingy, what's it? Yeah, but I don't think you can. It's really hard. It's really hard, especially hard on a board. So we won't. Yeah, it'll be drawn for you in your exam. You'll only be expected you to draw it like this, not the three dimensions. You'll have to understand how it works, but it's still the um, own pair. So now that I've got this, yeah, yeah, yeah. what can I do with it? What, 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 what are the uses of this, this little water looking thing? Well, that one in particular, way, I think, should be only used. To sprinkle your chips. Right. Okay. Right. But what about other stuff? If I reacted other stuff. Well, I think I think there's a few, isn't there? I might go into the business of phenol. Huge. I remember. I remember last video we made um, two ethyl phenol. Right? I draw this all up. Okay. All right. So if I do go into the phenol business. Yeah, you'll need to. I could. Know how these all do, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you've got two ethyl phenol. So that means it's got an alkyl group. It's got one of those. It does, isn't it? So the uses of this, if I was to make this in a test tube over there. Yeah, you could use it to wash your clothes. I could, detergents. Absolutely. So there you go. And so I can go into the phenol industry and parallel to that, the clothes washing industry. Oh, well, washing machines live longer with phenol. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is there any other uses? Any other stuff? I think, I think there is. You can react to chlorine, you not can. like uh, bromine. And you'll get chlorophenol. Yep, so and that's... You sort of knock it over to draw it. Um, yeah. Doesn't truly matter because you can just do this standing up. Um, you can't, that can happen to any size. These are just. This is just example. an example. And chloro, that can be used for. Disinfectants and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So chlorine kills Dettol. Yeah, Dettol protects. Except when you drink it. Then, it's, then, it, then it doesn't. Then it doesn't do that. So don't do that. Don't do that. Bad, Bad advice. Um, it does other things. There's the cyclic one. That yeah, which there. is a, it's a cyclic acid thing. Yeah, it looks like this. I'll draw it. Oh, I don't right. remember what it's called. But. So you've got your phenols, obviously. Yeah, your phenols. Always got your phenols. And here it's got a carbon to OH. 
double bond uh, yes, like it's that. like adding an alcohol to an acid to it. Acid does something. And uses of this is the synthesis of aspirin and other pharmaceuticals. Yeah, making so medicine. That that isn't aspirin. It's just the beginning stages to making aspirin. Mm -hmm. So pharmaceuticals. And that means we have one remaining, and that's when you've got more than one phenol, which you can have. Yeah, if I, if I have a phenol factory, I've probably got loads of phenol. Loads of phenols. I can do this one too. Yeah. And uh, it's called bisphenol. Or yeah, bis bisphenol. Spelt like this. Yeah. And then just phenol. Mm -hmm. And it looks bonkers, and it's it not much better. So, there's two phenols, but between the two phenols there is a carbon which has bonded not just to two phenols, but to two methyl groups. Absolutely, just like that. And what's the shoes like for? Well, um, I can't remember when. Can you not? No. Thankfully I can. Oh, that's good. It's the uh, paints. Oh, yes. The paints as the resin paints. And there you go, so if you I have a phenol factory, you can join me. I am all mixed. We can make detergents, disinfectants, pharmaceutical things and, and paint. paint. I like paint. So we can paint our factory. I, I quite like to paint some stuff, actually. Yeah, so would I. I'm, I'm going to paint the world. Are you? You're going to need a lot of phenol. No, I'm just going to draw a green spot and a blue spot and a circle. I think that will pretty much cover it. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 y